So for the last year, I've been running the Insta360 X3 predominantly as my main action camera. So I wanted to do a one year follow up and let you know, is it still worth it? Should you still spend your money on it? And would I buy this camera again? I've used this camera in all types of different conditions. I've used it hiking, one wheeling, mountain biking, snowboarding. I've taken it snowboarding in super deep snow. I've used it in temperatures as low as negative 20. So I've had this camera in a huge variety of different situations. First thing I wanna highlight on this camera is its insane dependability. It's never given me any issues, any glitches, regardless of whatever the weather conditions were or the temperature conditions, it's never given me any issues whatsoever. Even in Jackson Hole, the temperature was negative 10 with a negative 20 wind chill the entire time we were there it was super cold and even then this never gave me any sort of weird hiccups or issues or anything like that I've never had an action camera be that dependable in those extreme weather scenarios and on that note I did just want to say the battery life on this camera is absolutely insane even on that negative 20 day I still was able to run this camera on pretty much one single battery we would get out there at like 8 a.m and around 1.15, 1.30, somewhere in there, I changed the battery out, not because it was dead, but because it was down to like the 20, 25% range, and I just wanted to go on and be on the safe side, put in a fresh battery so that I didn't miss a single bit, never missed out on any footage. So even then though, I was able to run this camera, leave it exposed to the elements this long before I actually had to change out the battery. I know other action camera brands, they can't do that. You're gonna burn through you know four or five batteries a day, and in those extreme scenarios, maybe even more than that. So this camera, regardless of the weather, I've never really noticed a difference in battery performance whether it was hot or cold it always feels like I get an insanely long battery life out of this camera now in terms of image quality I still think this is the best 360 camera image on the market I don't think there's another 360 camera that can compete this camera produces absolutely beautiful images and I think the way that it mounts onto the selfie stick where it threads on instead of screws on with a mount is gonna give you a big advantage where it is directly attached to the selfie stick like that. That's gonna prevent it from wobbling either way and you know, occasionally showing up with the, uh, occasionally losing the invisible selfie stick trick that the camera's able to do. So I do think the way that this threads on is gonna give you the best overall 360 camera performance. You're never gonna have to worry about the pole popping up in your shot or when you're reframing it doing anything weird. Also, the way that it does mount on there, I think helps give it a really nice balanced feel on the selfie stick. It doesn't feel as like weighted down on the end of it as you do sometimes if you have another action camera kind of hanging down low or sitting up top. It just feels like the weight kind of wants to bend that selfie stick a little bit. I found this one to be really comfortable to hold, the most comfortable to hold on the selfie stick, especially for extended periods of time. It's really easy to hold, whether you have it in front of you or behind you, just makes everything super easy. And so you're able to be out there enjoying whatever activity it is you're doing more than having to focus on how you're having to hold that selfie stick. Again, overall, I think this camera just gives absolutely superb image quality when it does come to getting those 360 shots. The biggest standout of this camera and the most useful feature to me and something I'm definitely going to be utilizing from here on forward is me mode. Now what me mode does differently is instead of giving you that full 360 shot, it's just going to focus on the bottom portions of those 360 lenses. It still crops it together. It still gives you that invisible selfie stick look. So it still looks like your classic 360 shot, but where it's not using the top portion of those lenses, what it's able to do is actually bump that frame rate up to 60 frames a second instead of 30. And it's just going to give you a really really smooth looking image and video as well as if you're doing slow-mo it's gonna make those slow-mos look really nice and it saves you a ton of time because you're not having to go and reframe all these it's automatically reframed to just focus down the line of sight of the selfie stick so it's less editing you're gonna have to do in post and I think it gives a really smooth and great image shot I especially love this for snowboarding and it's something I utilize quite a bit and plan on utilizing even more just because it is so easy to use other simple things I do love about this camera include the touchscreen. I think the touchscreen is the biggest touchscreen on any action camera. It's really, it gives a really nice image. It's very easy to use and navigate, very responsive. I like that you can charge this camera while it's in its case. They've made a little, they've made a little cutout in the case to allow you to open that flap and plug your camera up while leaving it in the case so you can keep those lenses protected. And overall, this camera's just a really nice size. I, it's almost like it's perfectly pocket sized A lot of times when we travel and I know I'm gonna be needing to get it out or you know, we're out doing something and I have this thing, I just slip it into my pocket in its case and it's very comfortable in your pocket. It's small, it's kind of flat, so just really portable, 
really great to just pack around. It's literally like having an entire film studio in your pocket. I think Insta360 just does a really good job of making action cameras easy. They're easy to use, easy to edit because their software is so great and miles ahead of any other action cameras company software. There's just a lot of really fun things you can do and overall it's very user friendly. And I think it, they just as a whole make it easier to enjoy your activity without having to worry about getting that perfect camera shot, that perfect angle. and. It's almost like you can just kind of focus on the activity and the camera's just kind of there dangling in the background and then it's still going to give you an incredible shot to go back and reframe later. There has never been one time with this camera that I've gone back and either missed a shot or been like, oh, I wish it captured this because it does such a fantastic job of capturing each and every moment. I have never been disappointed looking at this Insta360 footage ever. And that stands true for all of their cameras. They all do a really great job of that. If I could only buy one action camera, this would be it. I think this is the ultimate action camera, the best action camera on the market because you're gonna get that amazing 360 footage. You'll never miss a shot. It also does have a 4K single lens mode if you do wanna get that higher quality image and just use the one single lens, as well as it has tons of different shooting modes. This camera is insanely versatile. And if you do, if you are interested in picking this camera up, I do have it linked below as well as down in the description. If you do use my link, it's going to give you a free selfie stick, which is a $22 value. This is my favorite selfie stick I've ever used. It collapses down really small. It's super lightweight. When it's, it's super easy to collapse and extend. You don't have to twist it, lock it, or anything like that. It does a really great job. Just overall a fantastic selfie stick. I also have all my other gear and everything listed below if you're interested in checking any of that out. These are affiliate links. They do help support the channel. And if you do... If you are looking at making any of these purchases, I really would appreciate it if you could use my links. Only other one thing I will highlight with this camera is if you do pick it up, I definitely recommend picking up the accident insurance on it. Whether or not you choose to get the extended warranty, that's up to you, but definitely get the accident protection. These lenses can be very fragile. In the summer, I'm running them with lens protectors, but in the winter, I don't because it does hinder that image quality just a little bit, especially in the sun. It gives you like a lens glare, and so in the winter, I'm less worried about it. But just having it does give you that peace of mind. And if you do, if you are to scratch a lens or something like that, it just makes the whole repair process super easy. I actually have done this, and it's definitely worth the money because it's going to be way cheaper than what you have to pay for the repair otherwise. And it just makes the whole service experience much more seamless. There's so many different fun accessories and different ways you can shoot with this camera, and it just gives you such a huge variety and amount of versatility that you'll have in your shots and things you're able to do when you are filming. If you have any questions about this camera or anything at all, definitely hit me up in the comments below. I hope you found this video helpful and I, again, I just can't recommend picking up one of these enough. It's such a fun camera to use and I think you're going to have a great time using it. Thank you guys for checking this video out and we'll see you in the next one.